This is the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now you probably heard a lot of good things about this phone, but what about the bad? My name is Tarvin from KL Gadget TV and I'm here to talk about the problems with the Galaxy S8. The phone has a very nice glass finish, giving it a very premium look. But sadly, because of that, it is a big fingerprint magnet and it makes it very slippery. Now, I myself had heart attacks many times when I tried to use the phone and it slips out of my hand. So I suggest if you're planning to get this phone, get a very good casing and probably a tempered glass to go with. Now, the next issue with the phone is the fingerprint scanner. Now, it is positioned perfectly for left-handers, but it's a nightmare for right-handers because as you can see, I can't reach it. So what Samsung could have done was maybe reposition it below the camera, like how every other smartphone manufacturer is doing it, or put it back at the front where it's simple and easy to access. Next issue I had with this phone is the Bixby button. Now Bixby is Samsung's assistant that they have included in all S8 phones, but what I wish Samsung would allow us to do was to remap the Bixby button. Perhaps changing location of the power button and the Bixby button because conventionally, a power button is always positioned below the volume rocker. The next thing Samsung could have done was to actually indicate to us that this is the Bixby button by perhaps adding some text or maybe putting some texture on the button. Samsung was nice enough to bundle AKG headphones with the S8 worth 99 US dollars. Now, before you go ahead to the internet and try to find a conversion rate for 99 US dollars, let me just stop you right there. These headphones are pretty bad. The treble is way too high and the bass is almost non-existent. So for someone like me who like to listen to bass heavy music, I found myself just after 15 minutes swapping back to my JBL headphones that came with my OnePlus One. If you're looking for a flagship phone with a beautiful design, then the Samsung Galaxy S8 is the phone for you. But if you feel that you can live without the Infinity Display and Bixby, then you're better off getting the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which you can get for a thousand ringgit cheaper and comes with the same camera and premium design. Have you pre-ordered the Samsung Galaxy S8 or do you own one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to KL Gadget TV, now is a good time because we take out content like this every week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found this informative, please share this video. We are also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And with that, I will see you soon. If you're looking for a flagship phone with a beautiful design, then... <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs>